Hi there, I'm Samantha Calder and I am the artist and instructor at livingsunglass.com where I help stained glass hobbyists just like you learn new skills so that you can create those projects that you really want to make. Now in today's video I'm going to share with you how I make little dots or drops of solder onto existing solder seams and this is a fantastic way to add a little bit of extra detail to your work. For this demonstration, I'm just using two scrap pieces of glass that I've put foiling around the edges of, and I've already soldered them together. So if you have some scraps that you can use at home, this is a great way to practice soldering. Now you'll notice down in the right corner of my screen, there's some little blobs of solder that I've already dropped off the iron. And when you pick one up with your iron and you turn the iron so that it has a straight line pointing up, then that drip will just kind of hang precariously off that bottom corner of the tip. And it makes it much easier to be able to place your drops of solder where you want them. So you can use drops or you can use the stick like I'm using here. Now what I'm noticing is these dots are spreading just a little bit, which means the iron is just a tad too hot. So if you have an adjustable iron, right now this is my Hakko and it is at 360. So I'm going to turn that down to 310, just so that I don't have quite as much heat in the tip and it will prevent everything from warming up so quickly. So a few wipes on the sponge to try and help cool the tip down quicker and we're back at it. And now you can see I can add much more delicate drops of solder. They're not melting into the seam anywhere near as much as they were before and therefore they're not spreading out either. So you just keep adding a little bit and dropping it down. Again, notice the tip of my iron. The flat edge is pointing up and down, not side to side. And this makes it easier to control where you're putting the drop down. So you can spread them out a little bit. You can put them close together. It just depends on what you want to do. So if we look at this now, you can see how the ones on the left they're more of a stretched out bead. They're not perfectly round. That's not to say that that effect isn't a good effect. It's just not what I was going for and it's a way you can troubleshoot what you're doing. So if your beads stretch out a little bit, your iron is hot. Looking at this middle section, each of the drops do appear round and they were spaced close together. And then toward the end of the row, I spaced them out a little bit. Now remember, I've turned my iron down and I'm trying to do regular soldering. I'm removing those beads now because I wanna practice again. I wanna do some more so I can just flatten this back out and start from scratch. But because I turned the iron down, it's not keeping up with what I'm trying to do. So we'll just adjust that back up a little bit and then I can smooth the seam out and then we can start all over again. This is a great way to practice your soldering skills. Instead of working on a project and potentially fouling it up when you're trying to add those extra little drops or special effects. This way it eliminates all that stress. Basically you have a clean slate and you can just flatten it all back out and start all over with whatever it is you want to try. It's a great way to just play with solder and get used to seeing what it does and how it acts. So there we go. We're back to a nice smooth seam again. Here's a slightly different angle on the camera for you. You can see when I'm holding my iron, I hold it with my hand above the handle instead of underneath it. And this allows me to get the iron on a much lower angle to the glass. And for my preferences, this works much better. And again, pointing out that that tip is vertical instead of horizontal. Makes placement much easier. So here's some examples of what you can use this for. So on this pendant, there are little drops at the top. On this wood troll around his belt buckle. And the dragonfly in between the wings help smooth out the effect of the body going through the wings. Solder details can be added to so many projects in so many different ways. These are just a few ideas to get you started. Achieving smooth solder seams can be a challenge to begin with. If this is something you're looking for help with, check out my newsletter link below. By subscribing, you'll receive my free video containing my three tips to smoother solder.
If you're new to my channel and want to learn more tips to make stained glass more easily and with more confidence, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And if you find that a community is a great way to share and spark ideas, come join my free Facebook group called Make Stained Glass. Find links for these below the video and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.